A leprechaun is a tiny shoemaker, known in the stories for their mischievous nature. A leprechaun has a pot of gold, which they keep buried in the ground. They hide it at the end of a rainbow. A leprechaun is dressed in green, so it's very hard to spot a leprechaun in the green grass. It also makes them very hard to catch. But if you are lucky enough to catch one, be careful. Leprechauns can never be trusted. Remember, I said they were mischievous. They always try to get away before you can find out where their pot of gold is hidden. And they play all kinds of tricks to fool you. So remember in the video when we talked about leprechauns, we talked about them being tiny shoemakers. So a tiny shoemaker is going to use a tiny hammer and it's going to make a tiny little click. So I found in my house two Sharpies or any kind of pen or, and really anything you can find that makes a tiny click. The tinier the better because leprechauns are tiny. So go pause this video and go find two things that you can click together that sound like a tiny hammer. Pause it. Are you back? Perfect, I hope you found it. So during this song, you're gonna click your tiny hammer and listen to the story. In a shady nook one moonlit night, a leprechaun I spied with scarlet cap and coat of green, a candle by his side. Twas tick, 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 his hammer went upon a tiny shoe. I love to think of a purse of gold, but the fairy was laughing too. With tiptoe and with beating heart, quite softly I drew nigh. Twas mischief in his merry face, a twinkle in his eye. He hammered and in a teeny voice, he sang a song or two. And I laughed to think he was caught at last. But the fairy was laughing too. As quick as thought, I seized the elf. Your fairy purse, I cried. The purse, he said, is in her hand. The lady by your side. I turned to look. The elf was gone. Then what was I to do? Oh, I laughed to think what a fool I'd been. And the fairy was laughing too. So did you hear in the story, came across a leprechaun one night and demanded his fairy purse. But the leprechaun said, look, there's a lady. And you turned to look and the leprechaun left and went away because they're always up to mischie mischievous tricks. So let's do it again. And I wanna see, so at one point in each verse, there's three verses. And at one point in each verse, I stop. And that's called a fermata. When I hold it as long, as long as I want and it looks like this some people call it an eagle eye or a hawk eye because it's got a dot and this swoopy rainbow over it fermata and that means I can hold it as long as I want so follow me and then I want to see how many clicks you hear uh, and, and I laugh to think of a purse of gold how many clicks do we do we hammer there verse 1 <laughs> A shady nook one moonlit night a leprechaun I spied with scarlet cap and coat of green a candle by his side twas tick 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 his hammer went upon a tiny shoe and I laughed to think of a purse of gold but the fairy was laughing too. With tiptoe and beating heart, quite softly I drew nigh. Twas mischief in his merry face, a twinkle in his eye. He hammered and in a teeny voice he sang a tune or two. And I laughed to think he was caught at last. And the fairy was laughing too. As quick as thought, I seized the elf. Your fairy purse, I cried. The purse, he said, is in her hand. The lady by your side. I turned to look. The elf was off. Then what was I to do? Oh, I laughed to think what a fool I'd been. 
and the fairy was laughing too.